Happy Friday and happy Fridays with Feidelman. I'm Cheryl Feidelman, the trauma and codependence coach. And today's topic on Fridays with Feidelman is what do you completely want to change? And a follow-up question that I would have is what is it that you completely want to change but you're totally resisting that change? So you're kind of living in a state of resisting the thing that you want to, or resisting the process of changing or resisting um, taking that first step towards that big change. And when I talk about change um, today, you know, I, I think I talk about change in a lot of different ways when it comes to codependence, uh, recovery, and trauma healing. And Today, when I talk about change, I, I want to refer it to a metamorphosis or, or a transformation, a death, um, and also grieving. Um, I said that I was back two weeks ago. I was like, I'm back. I took a long break with Fridays with Feidelman, and I'm back now, and I'm back every week, and then I wasn't back. I wasn't back last week. Um, uh, and I wasn't back last week, and I apologize for not keeping my word. And I went dark last week because my stepdad died. And I've been in this, like, heavy-hearted grief. Um, and death is, like, this such a big, can be such a big conversation. It's related to in so many different ways. It's talked about in so many different ways, from so many different religious points of view and existential points of view. And um, so what I want to look at is this, the, the kind of transformation that we are, uh, that's inevitable for us. So transformation is inevitable. Change is inevitable. It's part of how we are, um, oh, sorry, the light went out. Ooh, I'm sorry about that. Um, it's, it's part of how we're designed. Um, and I'm not going to bring up like, you know, I'm not a religious mouthpiece or anything like that, but just the very basic piece of what it is to transform. We transform as we grow, you know, we're unrecognizable from age zero to age one, from age one to 10 to 20, you were unrecognizable. There's a transformation and a, a, a chemical shift a biological shift, a psychological and emotional shift, um, uh, you know, a shift in not only our brain chemistry, but in the, the physical growth and formulation and development of our brain. And yet, when it comes to codependence recovery, when it comes to codependence, we will stay in the shell of our comfort shell of our relationship or our job uh, or where we live uh, or in a uh, repressed way of communicating with certain people, we resist the change and the transformation and we want something different. We want it to be a different way and we resist it because we don't want to go through that change, that transformation, that metamorphosis, which I'm going to say change and metamorphosis and transformation is part of the way we're, we're set up to move through this journey. So, you know, this, this topic was, is inspired by my stepfather dying last week. And, uh, we also discussed this in the Facebook group. If you want to be part of the Facebook group, uh, uh, the link below, there's a link below to join the Facebook group. We're doing a lot of great work in there as a community. And, um, so I'm trying to get the glare off my glasses. Um, Since I'm in this heavy-hearted phase of grief, which is, sucks on so many levels, um, I didn't want to ignore what's actually there for me, so I figured, okay, let's talk about it. Um, there's something that's, that's so shocking to me when it comes to many things that are shocking about it. But, like, I was talking to my mom, and she was holding one of his belts that has, that is kind of, faded and chipped and used in certain areas. And, and she was like, the hands that used this belt 
that put these grooves in it is no longer here. Those hands are, are no longer here. And so there's a shock to the living, like this great, the great mystery, the great unknown, like now where is this person? Where have they metamorphosized or transformed or can it actually possibly be over? You know, there's this shock, um, this denial, uh, um, assimilating to this, the, the new reality, right? Of the person not being here. Um, and, and death is not a mistake. I say that, and even though I, I you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a coach and I'm a healer, and I've, and I've been on this, you know, thirty year, thirty two year now, sort of therapy when I was twelve, thirty two year healing journey. I still don't have some massive acceptance around the inevitable, right? I don't have this some massive acceptance around death. I haven't. I'm still working on that, and. It's not a mistake. It's part of the movement, the journey. It's, it's this kind of radical change and shift in beingness, uh, in existence, is, is, is an integral part of the journey. Yet, while we're in the journey, we don't want to change. And we'll stay in the uncomfortable. And we'll stay in what doesn't feel good. Some of us even know I was this way for so long. I knew there was some other form of myself that I that I knew was my um, my soul, my spirit, my talent, my my greatest gifts, my passions, the greatest ex expression of myself. I knew was waiting for me beyond all those codependent relationships and those jobs I wasn't really interested in, and and. Um, diminishing myself and, and morphing myself to fit my people pleasing persona and, and, but I, but it took me a while to crack the shell of that drop all the stuff that wasn't me and go through that transformation. And the thing is, we, we don't want to go through the transformation and the morphosis because you don't want to feel the pain. Well, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to let go of the form and shape of this marriage or this job. Um, there's going to be loss. There's going to be pain. There's going to be sadness. There's going to be all of these things that, that you know, people don't, or, you know, my, that, that would have us resist. We don't want to go through all that. But, um, but I want to say very strongly that, that, you can take it. We are all set up and designed to feel the depth of pain, sorrow, uh, excitement, joy, elatedness, if that's a word. Um, the the um, expansion of liberation you know, we are set up to feel and experience all these things that get us to the other side, that actually move the needle, that actually move us into new phases of our transformation and our, and our, and our metamorphosis, shedding realities. But where in your life do you want a huge change and you're resisting and you're unwilling to actually shed the current reality that, that you're in and that you know? Where are you unwilling to have a death or cause a death? And I'm talking about an existential death, a death of an identity, a death of a relationship, a death of a job or a career for the in service of the next phase of your expansion. And I'm doing just a little name drop here. I have a really good friend of mine, Boise Thomas, who's, who's trademarked and coined the phrase meta-death. And his, I, sorry, Boise, if I'm not saying this right, but one of his slogans is something like, have a meta death today. A meta death, meaning like a, a, a death caused by a spiritual, a soul level, an emotional metamorphosis. Have a meta death. Have one every day. Keep turning the page. Keep re-existing in new ways. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to my thoughts, theories, and rants. Um, um, 
there is a th and thank you all to who came to the um, uh, the beta test for the listen for a living workshop that I put out. It was a great beta test. It was really successful. I learned so much, and I'm creating a um, the listening series. So we're gonna have um, a listening series coming out. I have all of these distinctions that I've created around listening and how life exists in the way we listen and our relationships exist in the way that we listen. All right. Happy Friday. Have an awesome weekend. Happy healing. And life is now.